Hi guys, good morning. Uh, welcome back to CS Technology. Today, guys, we are going to learn synchronize and unsynchronize, guys. Okay, how it will work. See, uh, see that, guys. Uh, you can see in this image, right? Uh, synchronous processing and uh, asynchronous processing. How it's working? Call for process B. Wait for response from B. So I will show you the practical as we are going to learn. Okay, so just you can see this uh, image. So is it exact way as how it's working? If we have it two functions, this is a function one and function two. Function one is uh, starting guys. It's working. Once it get completed, it will move into function two guys. Again, it will goes to next function. It's asynchronous guys. How it's work? so let's open vs code guys practically we'll learn about it okay so just i have opened the vs code we'll take html here guys inside the html guys we'll write us javascript guys okay so i will be taking here guys some three functions i can just take three functions function one Inside the function, I will just type, we will take arrow mark here, guys. I will write here console dot log. I will be writing here, guys. Oh, we are writing. Okay, guys. Yeah, guys, I will be writing function one is running. Okay. So I will be taking guys so like these four functions. We will take three functions. Because I have taken three functions here. Just we'll change this to and we'll just take three years. See guys, we have a three functions. I'll uh, quickly we'll just call those functions. I have just taken to today system is hanging guys too much I don't know I will see that uh, see guys I have I have taken three function and I have called three function here guys okay so quickly change this one as well to write two and this three now we'll open uh, console guys I will see that how it's running okay so I just I have replaced. See guys, function one is running, function two is running, and function three is running. So take example, guys. If you are facing any issue in a function or uh, two, guys. So what will happen? So then the function three will be not running, guys. A function taking more time to execute the program, and function three is not running, guys. If we have function four and function four also not running, so that will effect on our project, right? So we can see example, guys. I will just remove this two guys. Okay, we can just see what will happen. See guys, only function one is running because of function two is there is a error because of that function three also not running. If you have a function four, so that will also not run. If you have function five, so that will also not run, guys. To avoid the function, guys, we have a set timeout, guys. We need to use set timeout here. So if you have a more code, guys, lengthy codes. So in that case, guys, we need to use shut timer out, guys. We'll use that now. Okay, just I will be taking, guys, shut timeout. We'll take function here. Yeah. So we'll take some seconds, guys. After this much of seconds, we can run this program. It's a millisecond I have taken, guys. Here, just we'll take console dot log function to be running i have taken 3000 millisecond guys 3000 minutes it's a three second guys okay now we'll check that just double press see guys function one is running function three is running 
see guys after three second function two is running if you have more code is taking uh, some time so in that case guys you can use that so that rest of the code will get executed here right so if you have a thousand of cores guys so we can't do manually right so we have a, a synchronous and synchronous method as well guys where we can use wait and all so we'll see that in the next class guys okay so that's all guys today class so this is the one of the most important topic guys we have to understand that so that's what i have taken the class for more videos guys kindly subscribe my videos follow my videos thank you